Hey everybody, so today I have a question from somebody looking to join the reserves. Uh, they said, hi, I want to give the reserves a shot. I may have messed up my chances by being a flake. My recruiter set me up for MEPS and I stayed overnight in my hotel. I then got too scared to leave my kids and wife, so left at night. I want to give it another chance. Did I mess up forever with my recruiter? Any advice would be helpful. So for the first part of the question, did you mess up forever with your recruiter? I doubt it. Um, the, the Coast Guard and the reserves are in great need of people right now. And that's why the, the reserves raise the maximum age requirement to join the reserves. And so I can say with a fairly high degree of confidence that your recruiter will understand and if if not then you'll be able to get in through another recruiter um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that part of it what what I would be concerned about and uh, I don't mean this to be judgmental in any way but if you were feeling strong enough about it that you decided to leave and you know not follow through with an appointment with somebody and flake out as you said i would want to explore the reasons for doing that if if the reason for doing that was sort of a wedding day jitters type of thing cold feet or whatever when you decided i i'm i'm now feeling strong enough i'm now feeling confident enough that's one part of it but but if if it's your family, you know, you mentioned leaving your wife, leaving your kids. There was a reason you had that, that feeling, have that thought. And if, if that reason is based in something serious, whatever that may be, you know, someone has a health condition or you need to be around to help support your family or your, your parents or whatever, that's definitely something that would be worth questioning and kind of maybe meditating on a little bit. I, I obviously can't say whether or not that concern is uh, in your situation enough to merit no joining or not joining because that's your situation. I can't know that. But I definitely would, would think about that if that's something that is a serious concern of yours. The other part of it is, and again, I'm not trying to be judgmental, but the choice to join any military branch is a serious commitment. And so if there's any kind of lingering doubt to, to where you're kind of getting cold feet on the day of, you know, you're, you're kind of leaving the hotel and having second thoughts, Again, I would just really implore you to think about that, to meditate on the idea, to talk to people, ask questions, and try to get as much knowledge as you can. Because for one, it's obviously a strong commitment and you have to be, you have to have that focus and that drive to get through basic training. So if you're feeling kind of uh, unsure about it or I don't know if this is the right thing to do it's really really going to hinder your ability to thrive at boot camp um, and the other part of it is that basic training and the military in general um, it, it, it is a, it is a strong commitment and there's a reason why it's a small service not everybody can do it and I've seen a lot of people over the years who joined and it just didn't work out for them and you know they were able to get out and, and it, it was okay. I'd much rather do the diligence ahead of time and get as much information to really make a confident decision, which is such a big decision for you and your family. So on, on the small scale, don't worry about it too much. I, I don't think that... I don't think you've screwed up your chances with your recruiter. I think you can get that worked out. I would just 
really recommend exploring those reasons that you have for joining and thinking about those potential downfalls. So whatever was going through your mind that concerns you about leaving your wife and kids, really think about that. And that that's not just for you personally, that's for anybody. I mean, I've said similar in other videos, anybody thinking about joining. I mean, you've, you've got to keep those reasons in mind, both in the decision to join and throughout your training, because it's going to help carry you through those tough times. So I hope that helps. And um, I hope that whatever you decide to do is what you feel right and comfortable with doing and, and what you know will be good for your family. If you have specific questions on how it might affect your family or how it might affect your ability to be there for your kids, I'm more than happy to talk about that as well. Uh, I think I have some videos talking about that already, but if you have any specific questions on that part of it, just let me know in the comments and I will try to make a video addressing that part as well. But just in terms of the decision to go off to boot camp, um, just make sure that you're doing that due diligence and uh, really thinking about what's best for you and your family. So hope that helps and uh, have a great day. Hey everybody, uh, if you've made it this far, I'd just like to say if you're liking what you're seeing, if you're liking the content, please consider uh, dropping a comment, leaving a thumbs up, subscribing, and uh, even better than all that, sharing a video. Um, these are all things that help spread the message around. And if, if you feel that it's helped you in your Coast Guard journey, then it might help somebody else. And uh, any, any engagement helps the algorithms spread it around to more people that we can hopefully get um, informed on, on uh, the Coast Guard. So thank you for being here.